it's not really communicating on stage as much. I think just at the beginning there was a there was a barrier in communication, and a lot of people, you know, and a lot of times I, I feel like in interviews people say, oh, because it's a DJ and musicians, and we tend to fall into the answer of like, oh yeah, well DJs are different musicians, so that contributes to the communication barrier. But I think most of all it's because we're doing something so new that there really isn't a path for that's predetermined, I think that's kind of con contributed to the communication barrier because it's like, how do you notate what we do? It's like live remixing. I guess there's like because there isn't one band. It's like as we, we take certain things from certain different genres. So for instance, our sound quality we, we put up against you know the best electronic DJs and stuff because the sound that they put out there we, we find the quality of that music very good. So we might listen to something like that and use that as our bar in terms of the remixes we make production wise. But then energy wise, we might watch a different band and decide that you know we want to have the energy or you know maybe we have a song that we saw a Radiohead song that we thought had a certain energy and. We, we have a song that we're doing that we want to kind of create that energy. So we kind of just take little parts from different bands and we kind of just add that to us. And, but there's no one band that we're like, yo, we're going for them and once we pass that, we're here. What do you mean by similar? Sometimes people think that similar just means another DJ in the band. Yeah, yeah, that's So I don't, we don't really rate it on that. Like, we feel like what we're doing is kind of, we're the only ones doing it. We know there's going to be at some point someone kind of doing exactly that, but I don't, I don't really think so. I mean, I've seen other bands with DJs, and I've seen other bands do samples, but I think what we do is still pretty much just our own thing. Yeah, so we'll bring a couple samples, like, generally come with more than one, because when we first started out, it was like, we should really beat to death a sample, like, we had to make it work, like, we spend two or three rehearsals on a single sample trying to make it work, and we found that the, the best stuff that we actually came up with was kind of after it came pretty easy, like, at least the first, the first loop of it came very easy. So, we started going through samples a lot quicker, like, he'll come with maybe three or four, and then we'll try it, and, like, Maybe he won't like it, maybe I won't like it, you know, maybe after doing it, and then I'll like it, he won't. And I, I've kind of come up to a standard now that we all have to be comfortable with it to be able to kind of carry on. I'll come up with a drum groove. Sometimes that and the turntables alone will do the loop and then we'll look and tease and be like, come on, man, come up with something good. Yeah, yeah. And then, or vice versa. Or vice versa, yeah. It can be any combination. It's not calm either. There's a lot, there's a lot of yelling. <laughs> it's not like we just go in there like yeah, yeah, it's not We get very heated and passionate about, no, this is good, let's stick with it. No, no, you know. We generally like when, when most of the, you know, when we're all stoked about it, that's always the best. Yeah. The best thing ever when we're all like, yeah, we all love this. You know? like, we kind of know what we're on that because we'll just start jamming. We'll just be like, we won't stop. Like, we'll just get into that, like, musician mode where we'll, hit, we'll get a specific riff and then before we know it, we'll look up at the clock and we've been playing the same riff for 15 minutes, playing it straight, and no one's been bored of it. And it's weird, like, Matisse, like, is taking his shirt off. And he's rolling, <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing my shirt around. And it's weird. Lowe's doing a little No big deal. <laughs> Just regular herbs. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> pretty shit. Yeah. Actually, we've been producing a lot of um, music on the side now, like remixes for people. Um, and then the fun part is you take those those samples and you have to recreate that song. And that song might be, you know, we might have taken 30 tracks to make that song. And now we've got to figure out how to take that song and play it with three with, with six hands, I guess. And you kind of learn that there's certain sounds you just can't you can't play it. You know, it might be effect here, but you have to get the bass line and the meat of it and the hook. And so um, there's definitely limitations we have. We, we thought, like, there's been definitely people who approached us. At the beginning when we first started, we actually would bring along a bass player in the band because we hadn't figured out how to do that. Since then, I had figured out how to layer my bass on the keyboard. But um, we've talked about, you know, when we're at a certain level, maybe as an art piece, just bringing, like, a big symphony orchestra. Um, but I think the chemistry between the three of us, like, we, we, we've been on the road. Like, these guys are like, I'm with them every day. We haven't killed each other yet. You know, it's kind of, I don't know if we can 
bring a fourth member in and keep that chemistry. There's something that we definitely have that's, that I think is just unique to the three of us. So I think we're pretty content with leaving it the way it is. You know, save for maybe a special event where you bring in a special guest. It's also cheaper. Yeah. Well, we're less flight. <laughs> <laughs> Money is split. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I can imagine. Can you imagine them at the beginning when they were actually making like maybe like regular money and they had to split it like 20 ways? <laughs> That's why you got ended up in jail. Yeah. Still hustling. It's <laughs> true, right? And like Dirty had like probably three personalities, so he probably got paid three times. Right? <laughs>